Okay, everybody, today we get to do the lion, which is very exciting. And these are a lot of the techniques that we've done before. So we should have, we won't be as nervous and everything because we have experience with paint now. So we're like, oh, I kind of remember this. I remember that. Okay, it makes sense to me. Remember, there's frustration and confusion, then understanding, then easy. So I think this one is going to be not as hard because we have understanding. Right? So we're very lucky. So we're gonna paint that background first. Remember the koi fish, right? Where we did the background first? It's the same, okay? <clears throat> so we need our great big giant fluffy paintbrush and our red. But look, we're gonna, look at how bright she is. No, we're gonna add a little bit of black and warm her up like smoke, right? Give her a little smoky texture with her. So I get my blit, this one, my red, and my blick. I take the lid off. And this is the same big paintbrush that does the mane, right? But but uh, we'll just clean all the red and the black off, and then we'll be able to do the mane. But we're gonna we're gonna we need to outline. Oh, let's just do half. Remember when we did koi and had half half, right? So like from his ear, like halfway, we'll do it in red and then add a little blick. And then we do the back half, right? And then decorate it, okay? But we, we want to um, outline our lion so we can, you know, keep the shape of his face. So this is that outlining trick. So we stab the red paint and then our paint, and we touch the canvas and our paintbrush opens. And then that one hair, we push our paint push and we don't wiggle and we let give it permission to be nice and straight right on the pencil okay so um i i did mine in silver sharpie so it shows up a little better so i'm gonna get my uh red and i just i just poke it and it'll only last about this big because we're not gonna go stir that'll be a gigantic glob that might drip on her nose so instead it's just a poke a poke right poke and then um, we can do her nose, but we're gonna go above her nose and go land, and then go smash, and then sneak down as soon as it touches. Oh, now it can push like that, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna go and smash, and I'm above it, and I open my paintbrush, and then I can sneak up, go oh, down, 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 touching, and then push, and I'm touching my pencil. Oh, it's dry. That's as long as it lasted. Mm. More paint, another poke. Okay, now I'm gonna go above it again. Smash, pull. There, and I just push my paint, staring at one hair the whole time. I fold my paintbrush over so she's bent, and then I push like that, and one hair does that. Uh, it makes a big, giant, fat line which protects our lion. But we stare at that one hair that touches the pencil, right? And then now we could do, um, you know, in front of your nose. But I'm, oh, don't touch the nose, watch me. I'm gonna go near the nose, smash, right? Then I sneak up, sneaking, 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 touch. Now I can go, ooh, and now touching her lip. Her lip, oh, and it's still, I still have paint. I haven't ran out yet. There, I got dry. Now I can stop. Okay. And poke. Get a little more. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna go chin, chin. But I don't touch the chin. I smash near the chin and then I sneak up. Sneak. Okay. Like that. That's not hard. What we've done this before. Right? And you don't pick up your paintbrush and don't go dash, 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 dash. That'll make it all bumpy and rough. We want that smooth edge. It's just a trick, right? Just a trick. And then, oh, oh, we, we should go back up to the ear and go up over her ear to her hair and then like cut the painting in half so we remember this, the front half we're gonna do. So I get more red, step, and go smash. Oh, it's round, it's gonna be harder. Up and over like a rainbow. Okay, there. Okay. Now, how about these uh these squiggly lines that are supposed to be hair? Are those real? No. We're not. We're not gonna paint around those. 
That's not even real. Look what we make the hair out of. We flick with our paintbrush, right? So where's those zigzags? Um, don't matter. I just drew them so you would think it was pretty. But when we paint them, we like, N doesn't matter. It's all love. We're gonna put the hair on top of the background after she's dry, right? Okay, now the same is true down here. Is this real? Like, no? What happens? Oh yeah, we just paint and we just go and stop. So then we're on top of the background. So is this real right here? No, <laughs> we just can go like this and be like, yeah, it's just, you know, there, you know, cause I'm gonna put the mane longer than that. So it's like a hand, a hand. But then my mane, I'm gonna go whoosh with my pieces of the brown mane and they're gonna go past that whoosh, right? So just put like a fake squiggly line that represents hair. Cause we're gonna go on top of it with our mane. We go whoosh, it's gonna be real pretty. So it's fake, right? And then cut it in half just for our brains. So we know, okay, this front half, <laughs> now we can paint it red. Okay, so you just stab your red stuff. Okay, so luckily, this is such a giant paintbrush that, um, and then look, look, it's a whole hand below her chin. Everybody pause and look up. Oh, okay, it's, it's not near her chin. It's not here. It's like here. Think of her like it's neck. Right. Okay. So now I'm gonna use the side of my paintbrush, and it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, uh, Celeste, up and over her ear, right there. Whoop, there. And now I can just put it, make it all red. But we're in a rush. How come? Because as soon as we make the red paint thin by putting it on the canvas and spreading it around, the air steals all of our water. So we gotta go fast. So. We decorate it when we put the black on it. So it doesn't matter how you put the red on it. We're gonna do this pretty decoration after we get it all wet with red. So I stab my red, I use the side of my paintbrush and just very quickly, smeary, 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 pushy, pushy, shovey, shovey, smeary, smeary. Goodbye all you white, don't care. And then I'm gonna hold my red cup. Hold, okay, there. <laughs> I don't wanna reach behind me. Okay, oh, all the way to the edge, 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 scribbly, scribbly, oh. Hey, white showing, get it? Okay, poke, pushy, pushy, pushy. Side of my paint, the tip of my paintbrush, too sharp. Now you do it, paint, 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 paint. And you're like, oh no, I'm gonna ruin the, the um, line. Uh-uh, you have a whole two fingers. My friend's calling me. Two fingers before you could hurt lion. So just slow down when you get near a lion. Oh, can't hurt it, because we already outlined it, made a little safety barrier there. Who's beating me? More paint, faster pushing. Paint like you don't care. Be a kindergartner and just get it wet with red. We decorate it nice and make beautiful texture and all that when we put the black on it. Right, so don't be like, oh, I have to do mine so careful. No, you don't, you don't. And, we, and Celeste, are we using the biggest, fluffiest paintbrush? Are you using the biggest paintbrush? I just couldn't tell. I just want to make sure. Okay, go. Just go. Yeah, you're good. Okay, now I'm going to keep painting. Stab! Because I didn't want to beat you. I was watching. Okay, smushy, 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 shubby, shubby. And then I go back and I look for little white things that peek through. There's one. And then stab! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want Lauren to paint? She's painting the wrong side. Oh, either side doesn't matter. That's okay. Yeah, because look. So it's just putting, we put the black on the edge, kind of like we did koi, and then we make it blackish red, and then we kind of use the smoky leftover oh, okay. black that's in our paintbrush, so both sides work. I have a question. Question. Sergio, did you get the correct paints? Sergio. Yeah, Sergio got the right one. Oh, good. Okay, so Sergio, you got the right ones? The right color paints? Sergio. I don't think he could hear. 
I don't have him in my yes, picture. But he does have the right color lamp. Yeah, if he has red, then he's right. Okay, thank you. Because red's not in that other painting. And he has this giant paintbrush, so. Oh, that's not. Okay, my paint's drying. Mm, look at it. Look, it's not even shiny at the top anymore. Oh, come on. Oh. That's not, I gotta have it wet, shiny red, or we can't blend in the blick. Hurry, hurry, Celeste. Stab your paint real hard, Celeste, and then push the paint around more. Yes! And then pushy, pushy. Oh, better, smoother. Mm -hmm. And then when it gets dry, just get more. We can't, because we can't dilly dally. Or the red will dry and it won't do the pretty thing. Keep going, Celeste. Get it all stabbed really hard with the paint. And then pushy, pushy, get rid of the white. And then stab more red. Stab real hard, get more red, Celeste. Stab! Okay, now spread it, watch. Oh, oh, better. Pick it up and drop it off somewhere else. Pick it up, drop it off somewhere else. More slippery, more paint. Okay, now we're gonna put black. You guys ready? The shadow. Keep going, Matthew, catch up with me. I'm a teensy bit ahead of you. But remember, you're chasing me, right? So I'm one, I'm just watching and I'm trying to stay a little bit faster than you so our paint doesn't dry. Now I'm going to make this shadow. Okay, so we've done this before, but we put black along the edge, but we don't need very much. And then we're going to scribble it in, right, and make blackish red. And then what's left over in our paintbrush, that misty, dirty red, we go and visit the next row. Who remembers this? You remember doing this? And then there's just a little bit of black left in your paintbrush, and then you get closer to the lion. Do you remember? Yeah? Okay. But the trick is how much black, right? Can't be too much, because who's more powerful, black or red? Black. So if we put too much black, you're literally going to erase all the red, because black is very powerful. She has a lot of pigment powder. The black powder in the gel, way more than red. So I go, okay, let me get my black. Everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy, watch me. I'm just gonna poke, just poke my black, poke, like that. And I'm gonna drop it off like a like a backward seven or an upside down L, right along the edge, like that. Now you do it. You're just dropping it off, we'll play with it, we'll play with it. We just want to get it off our paintbrush. And then another poke, maybe more down the edge, the side, Wee! And then I ran out. So I'll need another poke to do an L on the bottom. There. So we made like a frame. Does it really matter how you drop off the paint? No, because we're going to scribble it in and make reddish black. So we're just dropping off that black so we can play with it. Okay, now it's gonna be texture, right? So everybody's texture is different. This is the texture I don't want you to do is zigzag, zigzag. They look like a bunch of Z's. So instead, we're more like big, little, 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 small, little, big, little, big, big, little, small, little, big, little, 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 little like scribbly, right? But not start, stop, start, stop. It looks like a, a box, right? So we're more like, Long, short, medium, medium, long, short, long, short, medium. Okay, and it will just smush your black, and it's about two fingers big, and it will make blackish red, but I just don't want to make it all perfect, like a, so it will have a perfect edge. I want it ugly, rough, right? So I just go, I'm touching the, the black, and I'm pulling it into my red. Scribbly, 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 scribbly. Oh, I better hurry, it's drying. Scribbly, 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 and I'm kind of pushy, kind of hard. Oh, it, nothing's moving right here. My red must have dried right here. I need everybody pause and look. Look, am I, it didn't, it's all, look, it didn't even come off. It's all dry. Darn. It's hot today. I'm going to put more red on top of this spot because only the wet red will move the black around. Okay, now I can get more black. There. Okay, there. Now I can scribble again. Okay. Nice, rough, bouncy, scribbly, interesting. See, and it, I didn't cut it with scissors. It's not perfect or straight. Okay. 
Because otherwise you go zig, zag, zig, zag. And like, those are a bunch of Z's. Why'd you make Z's on your paintings? Like, no, it's a texture thing. Okay, now what's in our paintbrush? Dirty red. Let's do another row where we scribble this like misty, dry, black. Another row touching this black, but go deeper into the red. So I just go, oh, 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 just get it out of my paintbrush and just kind of try to ruin the rest of the red all the way up to my lion. I just scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. Uh-oh, that spot's dry again. Pretty look, it's, it won't move. I need a poke of red. Poke, okay, now I can, okay, now, and now it's moving. As soon as it's perfectly dry, it won't, it's just nothing. So I go, okay, let me get a little bit more wet red, and now I can make a scribbly, dirty red. <gasps> oh! Decorate it, pick it up and drop it off and pick it. I don't need to visit the side. I like it kind of that dark, but I'm just drop making it dirtier as I get near my near my lion. Because I want interesting texture. Mine's dry at the bottom. Anyone have that problem? Is it not moving? If it refuses to move, poke the red paint. Get some more red paint. And then, see like this, it's all dry. Look, it wouldn't even move. It's all dry. So if I put red on it, oh, now I can, now I can scribble it and it moved. It's so hot today. Drying my paint. You have a spot that won't wiggle? It won't move? Get a poke of red paint and red paint will put, push it, pull it. Push it, pull the red paint, for black paint for you. You don't get more um, red, black paint. You just ask red to help you. And if, and if, um, and, and you can grab some of the black. Pull that black in. Come on, black. Join the party. And then how many versions of black do you have? Do you have very, very dark black along the edge? And then misty black? And then... By the time I got near my my uh, my lion, I didn't have any more black left. So, well, that must be the lightest color. No black in it. Okay, Celeste, Celeste, go go ruin the rest of your red. Look, Celeste. Don't let red be all perfect. Make her make her crazy and dirty and spready. No more black. No, wait. Okay, now put black on. Put red on that. Put red on top of your black, because look how black she is. Okay, now go. Oh, now push her around everywhere. Bigger, 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 bigger. Oh, look, it looks like smoke. Oh, decorate the red with a little bit of smoke. There you go. And don't be afraid to touch the, the other black. They're friends, right? The other black likes to be included. And then what about the edge? This, this edge right here where black is touching the red, could I, could I, oh, I just would like it not to be like a perfectly straight line. I just scribble at it. Oh, mine's all dry. It won't move anymore. But if it won't move, could you use a little bit of red and tell it to move? Move around, Blick. Well, you can't get more black to tell it to move. Briley, you're on camera. I'll watch you put your makeup on. <laughs> It was adorable. She was doing a tutorial. If I was going to do a makeup tutorial, I'd use the kind of makeup that has sparkles in it. I always like those ones the best. Sparkles. Andrew, can you guys turn on your cameras, please? Okay, now I'm going to, now let's do the other side. So we got, that made sense. Who thinks the other side is going to be super easy? Right? And then are we actually gonna outline this hair? No, you just do this ugly scribble like this down here. Just cause we're gonna put real hair on that, right? So I just stab my red step. And okay, blah, 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 not real, not just a scribble, just oh, more paint. Just to, just to create, oh, this could be a nice line, right? But it's fake hair, because we're going to put the hair on top. Or it's going to fluff over the red, right? When the red's dry. OK, 
Good job. Okay, now let's get that whole side red. Who knows how to do that now? Oh, wait, I know. And do we use a little tiny bit of paint or a lot of paint and then just push it around, right? So I just stab my red really hard and get a gigantic globule. And then I use the side of my paintbrush and push it around. And as soon as it's dry, more paint! Another reason is I have a, fa a fan on in my room, so it's making my paint dry really fast. The air, the air steals your water out of your paint. Rude. Should we dilly dally? No, paint, paint, paint it red. All the decorating happens when you put the black on anyway, so who cares how you put the red on? Blah, 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 blah. get any paint on my paintbrush. Pshit! Why bother? I should have got more. That was, that was nothing. Oh, that's nice and thick and it goes on smooth. Okay, better. Better. Oh, what about the two worlds where they meet right here? We're still red and black. It's, it don't, you could paint right over this halfway world. You could, it doesn't it hurt nothing. It's red and black. Not gonna make a weird color or nothing. Ah, I am not getting enough red paint. Stop. Okay. Now I'm hunting for what I, I covered it all. Now I'm gonna go back and look for white things because I don't like those. The little see-through parts where the canvas, the white canvas, peeks through. Bye. Yep. Oh, you know what else I don't like? I don't, look, look, if I turn my paint painting straight at you, look at my, I didn't go let my paintbrush fall over the edge. It's white. So look, everybody, I'm going to go like this and on purpose, let my paintbrush kind of fall over the edge. I do not want that white showing. Get out of here. Right on the edge where the painting curves. I don't want that white showing. Okay, there. Okay, now black. Who's ready? Because I'm I'm rushing you a little bit because our paint's drying, right? Celeste, more paint. Less rubbing and more paint. Stab your paint and paint one area till it's all red. Then stab your paint and paint the next little spot. There you go. Don't ask your paint to try to paint everything. Just do one little square, another square, and that. There you go. Okay, now yeah, just keep. And then once one square is all done, go paint another spot. Until it's solid. Exactly. Okay, now I'm going to get my blick. So, uh, who remembers how to do it? You just put the paint on the edges. So, I just poke my... Is it a lot of black? No. No. Just a little poke of black. And I just go, oh, okay, across the top is like a seven. And then it doesn't last very long. So, I just get another poke. Do I need very much? No. No, a little bit. <gasps> and then a uh, little frame at the bottom. So let's get more paint and go after all those white things. Get more paint. Paint! And then bye. Yes. Okay, now we know what to do because we did it last time. So we have to scribble. And how big is this first scribble? Two, three, three fingers big. Right? And I just screw, keep going, Celeste, just because I'm talking about the next step. You're painting yours red. Hey, Celeste. Celeste. Celeste, stop. Celeste, look. I think you cut off his mane like this. Okay? His mane is actually round in the back. We'll draw it on round. Okay? So you don't have to paint this anymore. Paint the bottom and get rid of the white down here. Okay? I think you lost your pencil. Okay, now I'm going to scribble this and try to make it blackish red, blackish red, blackish red. And what happens if it's, it doesn't move? My red paint has dried already. So I have to get a little poke of red. Now it will move around. Okay. <laughs> and now I can dirty up all the red with my dirty little paintbrush. Oh, it's all dry again. So I'm going to get a poke of red and help me move the black around. Okay. Oh, and these two at the top, 
These two worlds can touch. I could put the red and the black and the black and the red. These, this is all a connected sky, right? Oops, I'm over here. I started painting the front of his face again. La la la, la la. And then red, black won't move. Polka red paint. Now it has interesting textures on all sides. And when I, the magic is really when I'm running out of black paint and I'm dropping off like smoke and I'm changing the texture of the red and the red becomes this deeper, more interesting volcano. Reminds me of a volcano. I don't know. Red and, and black smoke. Good job. Celeste is almost ready for black. And then does anyone actually look at the background? Look at my original. No? We put the hair on top, on top of that, and we come way down here with our mane. So the only part that actually like we, we, can, we look at is this little part, and we already did that really, really good. Right? By her face. Or his face, it's a boy. Right? The girls don't have manes. Lauren, use way more red paint. And then, yes, now put it on. Watch. Yeah, now put it on. Oh, nice. Now push that around. Way more slippery. This Okay, Celeste, go ahead and put your black on now. On the edges and make smoke. Matthew, look, look who's jealous right here. This little corner didn't get any any red. Can you put some red in this corner by the back of his head? This is supposed to be red too. Yes. And you can paint right over the black you already put. It'll just make smoke. Okay, Lauren, get the get the white. The white is showing down here. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Just get a blob of paint. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Celeste, you put the black. The black just goes. L7, right along the edge. And you don't need very much because we're just making smoke. And everyone else is done. We're resting. Other people are decorating. And we don't need very much black because black's very powerful. We just want to make a smoky, dirty red. My favorite is when it really starts to run. And look at how I got dark, medium, light. There's some red pieces that didn't get any black on it somehow. Well, they look bright compared to the dirtier areas. It really looks like how smoke travels. You know, like, woo, -hoo, woo, -hoo, woo, -hoo, woo -hoo. Smoke. Did you drop off just a string of black along the edge, Celeste, so you can scribble it in? And then down the side and the little a little line on the very bottom bottom. And don't decorate it in, you're just dropping off the black so you can scribble it. Okay, now right along the bottom. And then scribbly scribbly. Yeah, now now blend it in. Now make it bigger. Like this, Celeste, using the side of your paintbrush, make reddish black. Push hard, push hard, smash it in, crush, big, 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 scribble, 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 blah, 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 blah. yeah, there you go. It's in a better texture, and you're mixing it into your red so it becomes reddish black. And then the dirty little paintbrush with a little bit of black on it decorates the rest of the red. And if your paint won't move because your red is dry, use a little bit more red to move it around. Yeah, don't add more black. Just give it permission to be dry and fuzzy like smoke. Yeah. Just push it around, scribbly, scribbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then this big paintbrush, we can clean this off. We get a paper towel. And this is the same paintbrush we use for making the mane, right? But the red and the black won't hurt our mane. So we just give it a nice squeeze. Just get the extra. After you're done, keep going, Celeste. You're decorating with the black. You're making smoky, smoky, smoky uh, red. There. 
And I'm going to put the lid on my red because I won't need it for a little while and I don't want it to dry. My lid got all over my tablecloth. It's a mess. But luckily, you just ignore it and it will dry. I like your smoke, Celeste. Did you blend it in and make dirty little, dirty little, uh, blick? Dirty little red? Uh-huh. Good job. And the rest of us are resting, giving our friends time to catch up with us. Good job, Celeste. Scribbly, scribbly. scribbly. And then give it permission to run out and act like chalk. Okay, now we're ready to do our lion. Okay, but we're going to do her uh, the her mane first. This is all dry already. Can you believe it? Oh no, it's already, it's already dry. But we're going to put this mane. Okay, and I just want to show you a trick that I learned. If I tilt her head this way, it just means her hair goes up and then back. And somehow that's actually easier for my brain. Okay, so tilt her like this, our painting, so she look, he looks like he's laying down and he's looking up. And you cleaned your big paintbrush, right? Because we're gonna use it to make this hair. <laughs> hey look, what color is this? It's that caramely color, right? Uh, and what else? It looks like it has this rusty red in it, right? And it looks like it has little pieces of brown in it. But did I scrub it in or just make strings? Who knows how to do hair highlights? You seen that get done where they put the little highlights in their hair? And do they go back and keep, no, they just let it go whoop. And it's caramel with little pieces in it, okay? So I laid it, laid it down. And that's just so I can, I'm gonna pick first her, her hair goes, you know, hits his, both, all my dogs are girls. So I count animals, hers. But I go up, up, this straight and flat at first, and then they start going back, 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 right? So I'm going to get my caramel first. I call her caramel because that's what she reminds me of. Okay, and I'm just going to get a, a little, a little tiny poke of caramel. Whoop. And I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna, t um, it's gonna get on her ear. But look, we paint the ear on top, okay? So well, if we get some of this hair on her face, we're gonna put fix it, okay? But we cannot use all our caramel for this because we need a lot, right? We need it for other stuff, her whole face. So I'm just gonna use one little scoop, but I'm gonna touch her forehead, his forehead, and just go, and I'm going to go right into the red. But watch, I land and push and let go. But I touched her. You see where her forehead is? It's behind her ear. And then I go touch, let go, touch, let go, touch, let go, touch, let go. And now I have to start going back. Watch me. Now I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start pointing at the ground. Oh, behind that ear, behind the ear. Oh, I gotta touch the ear to do it. Where's my caramel? I need a little spoke poke more. And then I go behind the ear, behind the ear. Oops, that wasn't enough. A little poke more. And then behind the ear, behind the ear, behind the ear, done. But I look at my hair is sticking out past the red, on the red a little bit. Well, that's boring. That is only one color. Can we decorate it? So let's get some of this, uh, this reddish, the red brown, like a rusty brown. Do you guys see the difference in these two browns? Can I call her brown, right? And then this one, r rusty brown. Okay, so I'm going to get, how much rusty brown do I need to decorate that? 
a tiny little speck. So watch me, I'm gonna go, I just wanna decorate this hair a little bit. So it's got a little, little, little ton of speck on the end. Look at me, look, I'm decorating. I'm gonna get all a little speck of the rusty red and then I just go back and just touch it one time and try to streak my hair and just go whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, oh, just a little bit, speck. Whoosh, 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 there, done. I just decorated like five spots. Celeste, look, her hair is now, Celeste, Celeste, her hair goes down, 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 point down, down, down. I'm pointing, oops, I'm pointing down. Her hair goes down. Behind her ear goes down. Okay, now, ooh, now a little tiny bit of white. But will it stay pure white? No, it might make a beige color. So I go, all right, a little bit of white. But how much white do I want to put? A speck? Watch. <gasps> I got a tiny, tiny, itty bitty speck. Look at my speck. And now I'm going to, so Celeste, you're touching your hair too much. You're only allowed to touch it one time. And then that's it. And then another spot. And that's it. If you scribble your colors together, it's just one color. Okay, watch me, Celeste. Now I'm going to string this white on it and just go. Oh, I ran out already. I need another speck. I'm trying to get the tiniest speck ever. I just put a few little strings of white on it. Right here, pew, 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 pew. Just a little bit. And then, and then you touch it, but you try, and then you're still going, oh, let me turn it. <laughs> okay, and then I go out, out, and then down, 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 down. Oh, every time I touch the white, she disappears. So I'm just trying to streak her a little bit and go fleeky. Riley, do you have a question? Um, what paint are we using for the mane? Is it this one? Yes, that caramel color, but just a little bit, a little bit, because we need it for her whole face. And then a little bit of rusty brown and white. Did you do it nice? Okay. Did you get little streaks? Or who kept touching it and it just, and all, everything disappeared. Did you make little strings? Nice. Okay, now we're gonna re let that hair rest. Cause look, now when we do the ears, the ears will be on top of the hair. So all this ratty edge that I have, ew, look it, it's all ugly. I'm gonna put her ear on top so it won't matter. See, that's why we did her little, her little bangs first. So I could put the ear on top, okay? So let's do her fate, her, her, uh, we're switch paintbrushes. That paintbrush is so big, right? So let's, this is the same kind of paintbrush called a round, right? Cause when I smash it, she's round, but she's littler. And I, I like outlining with the tip of it, you know, the outlining trick, but the side of the paintbrush is the side that's the, the soft, right? The side of the paintbrush, it'll make a better texture for fur. Okay. So now fix your uh, lion so she's facing up. And we could do, and we, and we can do, we're going to do her ear with the caramel color. And I don't need very much, just a little bit, because we're going to decorate it with a little bit of white to brighten it. And I could do both ears. Watch, but I have to outline it. Oh, what? So how do you outline stuff with paint? I'm going to land inside her ear and then let one hair, oh, touch the red. Oh, more paint. There. Paint in my ear. The outline is like a, a little rainbow, right? And I let, I let, and we're using the, look, uh, Emmeline, we're using this number four medium paintbrush. The teeny tiny blue one is for eyes and nose and mouth mostly. So now we've switched to this uh, number four, the medium size one. Okay, and then 
I, I that is just one flat boring color beige so how about we decorate it we need a little speck of white but just a speck look how much I got I just want to so that my ear isn't oh Celeste you need to switch paint brushes Celeste it's the small paintbrush now the small yellow one the big paintbrush is full of red, and we're just going to use her for the main. Okay, now I'm going to watch. I'm going to go and just like drop off. Everybody pause and look up. I'm just going to go whoosh. Oh, what? Why did, I, why did I just ruin the ear? Now I'm just going to scribble it a little bit and push it. Oh, just paint the inside of the Oh, a little bit brighter. It looks nicer. Now you do it. But it was just a little bit of white. You just drop it off and then push it around there. And then what if some area is brighter than other areas? You mean 3D? Right? Now how about this other ear? Well, it's just like a big rainbow, right? And here's my chant. Look, at, I got it all over his ear, my mane. So I'm going to get some caramel color book and outline it. And I just, oh, let me get a little bit more. And then a little tiny poke of white. And then go rainbow, rainbow. Oh, it's when you put the white on, it comes to life. There, rainbow. And how much white? I don't know. You decide. But I put it on rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Great. So we just did two ears. And, we're, and we could do the inside of the ear uh, with the black. But not this paintbrush. I need this paintbrush to be clean. So to do inside the ear is black. I'm going to get my itty bitty teeny tiny just born paintbrush. The little blue one. Right. And I, how much black? Um, well, if I have a good outline, you just kind of scribble it in. Right. So I just go poke. And I just go, all right, I don't want to see my pencil. Right. So I just make a good outline. Wee. And then another poke of black. And once I have a good outline, I just scribbly, 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 scribbly. Oh, that wasn't enough. Look, it got all dry. I need another poke. It's such a tiny paintbrush, you can't hold very much paint. And there's a black in the little hole in here ear. And this little paintbrush, she's going to do our eye and our nose and our mouth, too. So we have a little, let me get it up close so you can see, right? So I, uh, so can't, uh, Cadence. So I made a big rainbow for her ear and then I used white to brighten it and I put this ear, okay. And then I don't care about the bottom of the, cause the face is gonna go in front of her ear, right? This is all the caramel I have. Does anyone else have not enough caramel color? Did mine evaporate or something? Do you have more than me? I'm tripping. It's supposed to be eight squirts of caramel. Okay, now I'm gonna get more caramel and outline her nose. You ready? And now I go, okay. Now here I am, I get to do her forehead and all the way down to her nose, and we're gonna paint down to her eye, and along the triangle, and along her nose, but I gotta outline it first. More caramel. I dropped it. I can't hold it and paint at the same time, but I just go push. Push. 
And then I go along the top of this uh, triangle and under your ear like that. Look at this weird shape I just made. Everybody pause, right? Now, oh, it's a shape. It's it's the top of her nose along a top, the top of the bridge of her nose, you know? And then along her nose, the top of her eye. Oh, okay. Now you do it. It's a weird little shape. It's a box, basically. Hey, Matthew, wrong paintbrush. This little tiny number, two, uh, number four. Yeah, it's yellow, but it's little. Yep. Okay, now I'm just gonna get white paint and push that around. What? We can add more caramel to it, but let's just, the dirty little paintbrush, put, and I'm gonna stab my white. And I'm just gonna make like, a dirty little caramel. What if I could overlap the outline I already did? So, so everybody pause. Everybody stop painting. Watch me. Matthew, stop painting. Watch me. Okay, so I have my weird outline. Well, I'm going to grab that outline when I scribble, but I put white paint on it and I, oh, 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 hey, this is like we did with the black. The, the outline become, oh, I'm grabbing the, okay, okay but I'm going slow near the top. So, oh, it's like I just made dirty white. What brand is that for you? Same, the, the number four paintbrush and white paint. White and paint. It's white paint. Okay. And then I smoosh it around on my outlines and it becomes this pretty beige. So grabbing, some, touching the lines is kind of the point. And the dirty little paintbrush has has the caramel in it, right? You can't see it anymore, Celeste. So I paint I paint it over, and as I paint it over that line, I kind of pick it up with my paintbrush, and then I smear scribble it around. <laughs> Are you making a new color as you fill in her nosy thing with white paint? So white paint makes a beige. So we're not paint, we just have an outline of beige. But we fill it in with white. When we put the line, do, um, at the top of the line, do we fill it in? Yeah, look, we can't see my caramel line anymore, huh? Because when I got white paint, I, I ruined it. I, I pushed around the white paint with my, my caramel paint with my white and it made beige. But then you get, and I'm using the side of my paintbrush. Everybody look. Right? Not the tip. She's too sharp. So I'm Now let's do that little triangle in red. And everybody stand up your, your lion so she's looking at you. Stand her up again, okay? So did you paint it in white and it just becomes, hey, who's protecting their outline? Don't protect that caramel outline. We scribble on top of that caramel outline and that's how we get beige. Bye caramel. I needed you to make my, my, light, my light beige color. So don't protect the outline. She's helping me. My outline was just there to make a shadow around our shape. So it's putting the white on the outline is making a new color. Exactly. Okay, now I'm gonna do this triangle. Did you paint over the outline? Cause we don't wanna see that outline anymore. Goodbye. It just becomes beige. Bye. Okay, now I'm gonna get red and I just need a tiny bit of red with my dirty little paintbrush. And I just get a tiny poke of red, poke. Can you see it? I'll put it on my face. <laughs> okay, but look at this triangle. Oh. Oh, it's a red scribble, triangle-ish, 
but I just scribble the edges after and make them blurry. So all this is gonna be a little bit see-through. So I just go, oh, okay. So do I want perfect, is it really a triangle? No. So I just go la 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 I need to poke more. That wasn't enough there. La 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 la. Look at how rough my edges are. Cause I don't care. So do not outline the triangle. It's a scribbly um, pretend. Do not outline it, Brandon. Just scribble it so it has nice rough edges. And we're using our Amelda. Are you using the small number number four? That looks really big. We're gonna use this number four for the whole face. The big paintbrush is too big. Okay, now I'm gonna use my finger and try it just on the edge where the red meets my, my uh, nose. Everybody pause and look up. Let's ruin it. Sergio, you have a perfect triangle. It's not a triangle. Watch, watch Brandon. Rough up the edges. So it's all dry. Dirt, dry edges, dry, push hard, like when we were putting smoke on, right? Who needs to calm down their red a little bit? A little poke of white, and watch this. Whoosh. Everybody look. Look. What I just do to my white, my red. I just ruined it. Well, what if I scribble that white in there? Like, I don't care. Don't use your paintbrush. Your paintbrush is making a mess. You have to use your finger. There, pause. It's a little triangle, right? Now we gotta clean this red off. So we get a paper towel and we give it a hard pinch. <laughs> All this red comes out. But it won't hurt our face, right? Now we can do, uh, we're going to outline from under her eye and this big C, right? And I'm going to touch the ear right there, right? So I go, oh, under the eye. So we do her cheek. So I, I just get my caramel. And is the caramel going to live? No. I put white on top, right? So I can make something new and interesting. But I get my caramel. And I just go, all right. So I'm I'm under the ear. I gotta fix that. Under the ear and along this weird C and under the eye. Okay. Do you see it? It's touching and then I touch the ear and then there's that pencil line and it's under the eye. Oh, that means I'm going to get some of this in my, in my red. Oh, get some of it in your red like you don't care. Is there going to be any white left on his face? Any of the plain ca uh, canvas? No. We're going to blend it in. Now I'm going to stab my white. Stab! What? Because I'm going to paint. Everybody pause and look up. Because I don't think you understood this on the nose. So stop painting and look up. And Celeste, you're, you got to uh, watch this. So I outlined it with the caramel. Now I'm going to go over it with the white. Right? And oh, I painted over it with white. What color is it changing to? Beige. Now I scribble. Ooh, and it has red in it. And my dirty little paintbrush is going to make this color. More white. Oh, I'm going to touch her forehead too. Look. Oh, I'm going to go in her forehead. Put some of this in her forehead. Okay, paint over it white. Look at what I did. I paint over I painted over it white and then I just filled it all in with white and scribbled it in. Cause it's gonna make a new color and I don't want to see my outline anymore 
Goodbye, outline. Why'd I drop that color off? So that'll be the darkest shadow. But as I scribble, I push it around. Hey, uh, can, uh, Cadence, you got to pull your painting way closer to you. That's too far away. Grab your whole painting and the cardboard and pull it close to you. Yeah, that looks really, yeah. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. It's longer than your whole arm. Okay, now paint. That looks really, really far away. Okay, now, who got their cheek? Way up, your little cheek, way up here, right? And, okay, now let's go along where her mane is. You can't really, it's the tops of these lines, right? And I'm going to come down in this little swoopy thing. Let's just go, okay, weird shape. Get my caramel. And I just go, okay, scoop. And I go, okay, so it's along her face. Um, I didn't hear that. What do you want me to do? Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going underneath her cheek like this and along, oh, uh, this little swoopy shape. This is actually going to be blick. So I went on top of it. Am I going to leave that caramel sitting there like that? I went way down her face and on top of the swoop. Okay. Did you go down on top of the swoop with your caramel, Matthew? Whee! This is the edge of her face. And now I'm going to get white. Stab! I stabbed the white really hard. And I'm going to go right on top. Blah. I'm more white. Okay, what color is this going to make? Beige. Scribbly, 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 scribbly on her face. <gasps> what if I get it on the cheek? So... What if I get it on the red? So, look it, it's all dry on the red and I don't even care. Ooh, look at the different colors it's making. Dark beige, light beige, white. And, oh, I'm gonna put it on her cheek, on her face. Oh, okay, I got it on the red. Oh, oh, I guess I'm calming down the red then. So are we using beige to push it around or white? White pushes it around. And then the, what's the line for then? Just dropping off the caramel. That's all she's good for. That's all the caramel was for. Right? And then you're like, oh, but it makes dark areas and light areas all by scribbling. How interesting. Like it does it by itself. Here, oh, you know what? What about her jaw? I needed some more caramel. Everybody look. Oh, oh, oh. It has to go down her jaw like, oh, that's not enough caramel. Hold on. My cup keeps moving. I have to hold it. Okay. Cup. Okay. And I go, oh, her, not her lips, but me here. Okay. Back here. Okay. Okay. And then, all right, let me get some more white for that. Isn't that what happens? I go, whoa, let me put some white on it and scribble it in. Oh, what if I get it on the main? So, I'm going to paint over it. But look at this interesting texture I'm getting. Oh, wait, let me slow down near her neck. Let me push this into her neck. Okay. There. And is there any lines left? No, bye. They become just tan. Goodbye. I'm using that tan line to make beige. So now I've done her whole side of her face. The whole thing's connected, right? But what's this little swoopy thing right here? It's a blick. But is not blick really powerful? Oh, uh, your guy, you guys, Matthew, 
all these shapes are connected. Look, look, Matthew. I could go all the way down, all the way up. They're all the same color. You just, hello, visit, 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 like when we did the red and black. La, 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 right? They're not boxes. Okay. Now, I'm going to get this black, but how much black do I need? I'm scared. You want to see my original painting? It's a tiny piece of black, and then I'm going to scribble it uphill and try to dirty his, his cheek like that. Okay? So, I'm going to go, all right, all right. So, I just go a little tiny peek of the Look, look at how much black I'm getting. That I'm I'm hoping that's enough. Right? So I just drop it off on her lip and I just go whoop. Sergio, you gotta push that this all over it all the way back, touching this main line and all back here. So it's like four fingers big behind her face behind her mouth. Yes. And then now I'm just going to push it uphill like this and I go, oh, and then it kind of runs out up, up, it ran. It's like a, a um, ice cream cone. I just push it up, 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 ran out. Maybe even use your finger. Watch. Up, 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 up. Bye. Blurry edges. And it sits on top of his whip. And then use your paint, use your finger. Try to get a blurry edge. Okay, now I'm going to clean my paintbrush because it's got black in it. And then how much black was it? A tiny speck. Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush. But now we have to do the mouth. Right? This is a piece, and then it, it's a little square, right? And then this is a little square. It, it's not a lion's mouth, okay? Pretend, don't look at the lion. These are little boxes, right? And they do touch the black, we're not scared. But these are boxes. But we would need caramel and white. But it's more white on the front of his lip and the front of his chin. Okay, so I'm gonna get caramel. And I'm just going to put it along the black, like, like a backward C. And I'm going to go underneath the red, too. So everybody pause and look up. Watch me do this. <gasps> oh. Okay. And then, oh, okay. Backward C, backward C. Am I going to leave it like that? No, I'm just dropping off some caramel. Because her lips are actually white. But I need caramel's help. Because pure white is boring. So I put it here and I put it here. Here and here. Right? Okay, now let's get some white and make a dirty little white mess. So I get the white and put it on. I'm going to put it on that caramel and on that caramel. But I got to scribble it in and make my beige before I go traveling with it, right? So let me scribble it. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, 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 Okay. Hey, I got some on my black. Everybody look. Oh, I got it on my black. It just blur it in. Nobody cares. Oh, no, I got it on my red. Just blur with your finger. So the edge is not all perfect. I got it on my black. Mm. Supposed to be it. Okay. Now I can get white and paint her top lip. Watch this. I'm going to trace the... Everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy. So I'm going to... Oh, I have to outline underneath her nose. Uh-oh. I can't lose this nose. I, can't, I won't remember the shape of it. So I go, oh, under the nose, the front of the lip, and the bottom of the lip. Like it's a C. And then go up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh huh. Oh, was I too low? Was I like that? And then now I could do the front of her jaw with white, and my dirty little paintbrush will make beige. 
but I don't want to cover up his mouth. And what if some of my flicks fall down a little bit? Oh, he is made out of fur, so I don't really care. So it's, it's a lion in shape only. Does that make sense? Our texture hasn't been, and our shapes haven't been lion-ish. But look at the original. You know what I forgot to put? This red thing right here, but we can ignore it. But these are, these are ideas. It's the dent right here on his nose is red. So that's kind of modern art, right? It's not a, a lion doesn't have a red thing right here. And then black right here. Does she really have black right there? Or is it a shadow, right? So this is like just being interesting. And we always blur our edges with our fingers so it turns to dust. That's the trick. Good job, Celeste. Use your finger and just dry this right here on the edge of the black. The edges are need to be dry and fuzzy. Hey, this one isn't very bleak. I'm watching your guys's and I'm all jealous of mine. Yours. There. I liked yours better. It was more blick. More blick. Okay. Oh, now we can do eyes and it's the blurry edge that's interesting. Nobody cares about a black blob, but blurry edges. Nice. Okay. Let me show you this uh, nose shape real quick. It looks like a um, triangle with a little curl on the end. Do you know what this is? It's these things on us, right? But dogs and cats and stuff, they can literally, they have muscles in these and they can close their nose like that. So they're little flaps. So they, they, they're, there's cuts like this, like a dog's. So we go, oh, so it's a triangle with a little tiny corner on it. Does that make sense? It's how you know it's an animal nose. Okay. So it's a weird thing that animals have that we don't have. So can I get my itty bitty teeny tiny blue paintbrush? Mostly because she's just a little unhelpful. But mine's all dry. Just rub it on your hand. She'll soften. Because the paint will just turn to powder. You know? So switch to blue paintbrush. Why do we need blue paintbrush? Because she's whittle. And she and even if I push hard, how big she can she be? Right? She's like a little baby. So that will keep me inside the lines for my eye. And then what shape is my eye? A weird triangle. Because he's squinting like this. Look at my eye. It's shaped like a triangle and I squint. Right? So I go, okay, let me get the blick. I stab the blick. <gasps> Ew, what is this mocha on my blick? <laughs> what? Get that off. Okay, so how do I outline again? I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. So everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy, watch me. So I got Blick, right? Now I'm gonna land in the middle. Look, look, so, can, uh, Cadence, Cadence, ready? Ready, everyone? Okay, so I land in her eye, Boop. Okay, from here, wait, don't look away. Don't look away, from here, I can land, push up to the top line. I can push down, but I keep my paintbrush inside the eye. And then sneak down and sneak up. So my paintbrush was inside the whole time. And I just snuck up, snuck down, snuck to the back. Oh, what was that? I just went, oh, oops. Ignore. Okay, now you do it. Paint a tiny blue paintbrush for the eye. But can you outline it big? No, he's squinting and giving a dirty look. And as a little triangle. Well, they're called isosceles triangles, right? Because they're they're on their side. Okay, how about the nose? Oh, it's also a triangle. So I go, okay. Very, oh, but it has this little nostril piece, right? So I go, okay, I can paint on top of the Sharpie. I put black Sharpie 
just so we wouldn't accidentally paint over it and lose it. Okay, look, there's my triangle, but what's it missing? That looks bad. A little, kind of, a little stick out. The little nostrily thing. Sergio, keep your paintbrush inside and, and your sneak inside and just go up, down, up, down from inside. First you outline things. So you land inside and touch up and then push down. And keep your paintbrush inside the triangle at all times. And then you sneak around from inside. And then she has a little nostrily thing. He. No, do it for reals, Lauren. I see you. Use your hand. Did you do it, Cadence? The eye and the noses? What part is next? The mane. All that stripes. So fun. Okay, what about the ma mouth? Who thinks their mouth's going to come out too thick? I always do that, right? So I have a trick. So this is how you do the mouth. Everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. I touch the, I get the black and I touch the front of his mouth and I cannot scribble. I drive my car backwards because it's at a slant because he's mean like this. And I just go, push down. Do not come back up. Do not scribble. Every time you do it, it gets wider and wider and, and messier. Okay, so watch me. I'm gonna stab my black because I would like it to last the whole line, right? So watch, I'm gonna touch her, touch the front of her lips, his lips, touch, push, stop. I think I went too far. Backwards, and then done, and then done. Mm -hmm. Now that helps, right? Those were kind of abstract, all those scribblies and blurs. And now that we have an eye, nose, and a mouth, it suddenly looks more like a line, right? You're like, oh, it was, I was hating it, and now I understand it better. I was putting in shadows and stuff. Now that it has a nose, eyes, and a mouth, you're like, oh, I see the lion. And it doesn't matter what colors you used because it just looks good, right? And then look at our edge of our face. Is that even gonna last? No, we put the hair attached to it. Look, watch, I go big long hair across the back. Then the next one, I touch her face and go along that one. Then I touch lower down her face and go that one. Then I touch lower down her face and make another one. And they're always parallel, Wee. Land, wee, land further down her face. So fun. But then when I get to like her cheek, right here, oh, where my dimple is, then you just go, oh, well then it's one big long S. Okay, but we'll do it together. So do we do a teeny tiny paintbrush for this? That would take forever. So find your big giant fluffy one now. Ooh, it has red in it, so. So does my um, mane. And it's a little bit um, dry and stiff. But watch, if I rub it on my hand, it'll it'll soften her tips again. Ah, and I can wash off that. That's easy. So who has her hair done? Just the, the tops? Didn't it dry more interesting than you put it on? It's more interesting to look at, right? When we put it on, you were like, so? So and then it dries. You're like, oh, the colors, they make stripes of each other. We don't mix them in and make a new color. We let them rest on and make stripes like this. So you can't rub them together. Candace, you're doing it right. Cadence, I mean, you're doing it right. Now what part is left? All of this. Whoosh, whoosh. And we have lots of paint. So it's really smooth. And every time we put a color, we put another color on top to decorate it. And then look how long my mane is. Everybody look. Oh, it's like four fingers from the bottom. Okay, I guess all this was for naught, right? We're going to paint over it. Who's ready? So get your, get your uh, caramel. 
Okay, I'll be right back. I'm out of karma. Sorry, I had to go get some more. Mine was all dry. I think the lid came off of mine and dried it in my bag. Okay, so I get my caramel watch poke. Okay, but this is gonna be drawing the back of his mane. What if I almost get near the edge? So, I touch the back of his ear, wherever I was, when I, wherever I finished. If you're way up here, go ahead and make it this long. Who cares? So wherever the bottom of your bangs were, I just go, wee and look how close. In fact, let's put some dots for our brain, okay? Can you find the bottom, where the uh, bottom of your, um, your, your uh, bangs are? Everybody pause and look up. Look, Lauren. Stop painting, Sergio. I'm just gonna put a dot because that's where I'd like to start. And then I'm going to go, okay, then it starts to come out like a half a rainbow. And I'm going to get really close to the side of my painting. I'm just putting a dot so I know where I'm headed. But it's like two fingers from the edge. Well, how am I going to get from here to here? A straight line? No, it's a rainbow. Look, Celeste. Celeste, put a dot of caramel Net on her hair that you painted already behind her ear put a dot of caramel color because we're not going to let any dry canvas right dot right there but right where your hair stop starts wherever your hair ended yeah up there and then all the way to the very back behind his nose here's his nose Whoop, two fingers from the side is another dot. Well, how are we gonna get there? We have to make an arch or a half a rainbow. So watch, Wee! and I just cut off some red and I don't care. Don't mix your paints, please, Lauren. Cause we're gonna use all these colors. But, oh, I went, you mean I go outside onto the red? Yes. But look, look at my hair doesn't match now. You're doing good, Cadence. You're doing good. So now I'm going to go backwards. Okay, now we're, she's just tired. It's 6.30. Okay, so now, oh, look at that hairs doesn't match. Can I put some extra hairs right there? That texture doesn't match. There. <laughs> I'm obviously going to have to add some color to that, huh? Yeah. Wee. Well, car and then now I'm going to get more caramel and make it fall all the way down. And I'm going to point, I'm going to point at the bottom. So watch. Now I touch this and go, wee. Oh, uh, wee. Oh, flick. It's pointing at the bottom. But look, Celeste. Celeste, you have to draw this. A big backward C. And look at Celeste. My big backward C gets really close to the edge without touching. Now you do it. Ignore your red. Draw this. Wee! I go, touch her ear and go, wee! Well, that's boring. Can I put a little bit of that rusty brown in it? A little bit. So now just poke your rusty brown poke. Now, do I want to cover up all my caramel? Hey, Cadence, it's a whole length from the ear all the way pointing down. Can you do a big long one? Okay, watch. Now I'm going to decorate it. Oh, oh, should I cover up all the caramel? No, I'm just going to add a little something, something. Wee, a little string. Floating on top of my caramel just for a little something, something. Should I rub it in and make a new color? No. Should I touch it 50 times? No. 
Just drop it off, gentle, gentle. And then flick it into your hair. Remember the new hair that you added? Flick, 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 flick. Hey, Cadence, what's wrong? I know, I ran out too. So, well, don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna just do the uh just do what you have left to make some stick outs right here. Do you have left on the other paintings? Yeah, she's fine. Let's get white then, Cadence. Get a little poke of white. And go like this. Oh, and make some some tan. Oh, look at what I'm making. But that's boring. Can I add a little of a rusty color to that? Now go like this, watch. Cadence, now they have to go, wee, fall down, point at the ground. Point, point. Whoa! They point down. Yes. Put some, now put some rusty brown on it and decorate it. Because it's boring, white. Decorate it. Oh! <gasps> Yes, yes, decorate it. Okay, now we can do another stripe. So everybody look, oh, what, what stripe came next? A brown one? So can you find chocolate brown? Go ahead and keep decorating, Cadence. That just looks white. You decorate it with some rusty brown. There, oh, look at the decorating mm -hmm. and the texture. Okay, now I'm gonna get the brown, regular. It's the first time we're using it. Regular, boring brown. Well, I have to touch the caramel line, right? Because all the hair on the lion touches. So I just stab my brown, stab! And I don't scribble it on, I just draw a line. And I go behind her ear, and I go, wee! Oh, wee! Oh, I have to go back twice. Uh oh, I do have to scrub. Darn it. Wait, let me just get more brown. It's long, I had to get more paint. Okay, there. Brown. The big long pieces of mane from her ear points down and it streaked it. Wait, let's get a poke of white, a tiny poke of white and see if we can turn on the light. Don't rub it in. That was just beige. We already know that. But watch me. Watch. Oh, streak. Oh, a little streak. A, li a little streak of white. Turned on the light. But I don't rub it in hard. I give it permission to float on top. Oh, look at the color. Look how pretty. Now let's get rusty brown. Stab the rusty brown hard. Stab. Well, it has to touch. Now I'm going down her cheek like this. Pokey, 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 pokey. They go underneath each other. Now I touch lower down on her cheek, right? Wherever it's tan, poke. <laughs> and I go, wee, oh, I'm touching the brown. Wee, oh, I gotta go back and forth. <gasps> Push, pull, oh, there's, wait, there's white showing. Ah, look at mine. Terrible, let me get it. <gasps> Push, pull, nice. Well, that's interesting. Did you make, wait, and where does her mane end? And point down. Like it's a backward C, a question mark. It's a question mark, right? How that question mark go whoop at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, ooh, what if we put, what if we put some red next to the rusty brown? They might make a new color. So I poke my red, my real red, Oh, and I'm just gonna streak it right on top of my rusty brown and see what happens. Okay, gorge. Look at it, it made a new color, love. They should I scrub it in or do I let them float on? And I smack, I'm using my great biggest, biggest paintbrush. How come? Because she opens the biggest and holds the most paint. And then, woo, well, that's boring. Let's put a little touch of white on it. Just give it 3D, right? Because what's 3D? Dark, medium, light. So it's rusty brown, red, and white. And let's just see. Whoosh. Oh, woo! You're jealous. 
Boom! Streaked it. Fun. Should I rub, scrub it together and make a really fun to go? No, it's not streaky. I like it streaky. And then what does white do? Turn on the light. Celeste, don't scrub like this. Don't go like this. Just go way after it's wet. And then decorate. Yes. And then what color? Do you have a dark color? Do you have a dark brown on it? A little streak? Now put a streak. Wait, wait. You go like this with your streaks. Wee. Okay, now I'm going to get black. Lauren, you froze. You're all disappointed with how it came out. Now I'm going to get brown. I can tell. She, she's mad. Okay, but can I just let it be solid black? No, we'll put brown on it. And we'll tell it to calm down. But I have to go lower down on her face and go, we, oh, this is dark. Oh, one poke of black. She's very, very dark. But we'll put brown on it, watch. Okay, now I'm gonna, it's all dry. Look at, I don't wanna get more black cause she's so dark. I'm just gonna get some brown and put it on top, watch. Oh, 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 the brown and the black make a streak. Cool. Well, it's kind of boring. It just looks like a black outline. How about, how about we put, we put some um, rusty brown on it, but gently, watch this. There's my rusty brown, right? But gently, tell the black to calm down, very soft. Oh, oh, look. It calmed down my black and made it more interesting to look at. Black was a little dark. But I put a little something something on it and then I liked it because black is a little bit, a little bit much. Who wants to do another one? Right? How about, how about dirty paintbrush? White. If I get a stab of white with this dirty paintbrush, it'll make something very interesting. Now I'm going to stab my white. Stab. Oh, okay. But I have to go further down her cheek. I'm going underneath that line and just follow the roller coaster. We oh, it's like a dirty white. <gasps> Ooh, neat. If it's not enough paint, get more white. Hey, can, Lauren, Lauren, I want you to make it up on your own. Don't copy us. Each stripe is just a combination of your colors. This one plus this one. This one plus this one. This one plus this one and make it up. Nobody knows my lion, right? It's gonna, this stripe's gonna be rust and brown. This stripe's gonna be white and red. This stripe, and who cares? No one's gonna see my painting. I don't care, right? But ooh, look at my black next to the white. Everybody pause and look up. Now it looks bad. I have a tiny bit of white left on my paintbrush. I'm gonna put it on the black and tell the black to calm down. Uh, okay, oh. Oh, look, it made a misty edge. Love it. I told black to calm down just with the white that was left on my paintbrush. Who wants to do another one? This one, rusty brown. Stab your rusty brown really hard, but I have to go lower down on her cheek. Woo, it's starting to definitely become an S, huh? Or a question mark. Well, now it's just boring one color. I, watch, watch Celeste, Celeste, backwards C, question mark. Yes, and then the one in front of that is backwards C, question mark. Oh, well, uh, there's Rusty Brown just staring at you. He was in love with it. I'm not in love with that. We need to decorate it. What do you think we should decorate it with? What colors do you have left? Who's got caramel left? Could you decorate yours with some caramel? Who's got some, some brown? Who's got some white? You want to choose? I got a little caramel left. You want to see? Oh, maybe a little bit of white. Oh. And I just streak it. Should I scrub it in? No, I like the stripes. 
Not scribbles, huh? Whoosh. Whoosh. How about red? I'm going to get red this time. Red! Okay. Uh-oh. It's getting very closer and closer to her cheek, don't you think? But that's all right. So I just go, wee -ee. All right. Red by itself? No. That's boring. This is going to be close to my last one because I'm close. You just keep going until you get close to her cheek. So you have to keep making more and more stripes until you touch her at the bottom of her jaw. So we're all finishing in a different spot, right? So you're like, oh, I like these two colors together. Oh, I like this one. So here's my red. Don't love it. Just sitting there staring at me. So I'm going to put brown on it because I just want to see what happens. Okay, I don't love it. I want to put a little bit of white. I just want to see. I just, I just want to see. I don't know why I love the white. It's so pretty. Uh-oh. I'm close to her face now. Everybody pause and look up. Oh. The very last one, which everyone is closest to your face, she's one big long swoop. Like when your hair goes like this along your face. You know? So it's whatever. And it could be black with brown. I think I'll put black. But now I just, it's the last of my colors. But I don't want black by herself. I'm going to put black and brown. No, I don't love that either. Look. Oh, Maybe, maybe, um, some white. Because it looks too dark. So I'm going to tell it to calm down. That's interesting. So the, what's the most interesting part is watching different colors happen. That one smushes into that one. That one smushed into that one. That one's, that one smushed into that one. But they follow this S pattern, right? Whoosh. And I just touch her cheek a little bit. Touch her cheek and fall down. Touch her cheek and fall down. Fun! And you're making your own. And then, so what is this? Is this shape? A little S shape. Color? Do you have dark pieces, medium pieces, and light pieces? Yeah. Do you have a texture? Yeah, it's hair. So it's long and smooth, right? But do we ever let a color be by herself? No. Can you put a little something something on the colors so they could be more interesting? Maybe if you got a brown, can you put rusty brown on it? If you have a black, can you put a little bit of a brown on it? Oh, don't forget about red. Red gets very jealous. I'm going to put more red. I just want to see what happens. Hey, I dropped my cup. I just want to see. Oh, what? I just, I'm just going to put a little tiny strip. Oh. What? Because it likes to be decorated with tiny pieces of paint. Mm hmm. And am I scrubbing them together? Or I'm just kind of making streaks. And that's more interesting. Because it's not a color ever by itself. If it's one color, is that 3D? No. How do we get 3D? By letting dark pieces, medium pieces, and light pieces all be friends and touch each other. So you're like, oh, I think I, think I do have some dark areas. I do have some light areas. And they do touch each other. Right? You're like, hmm. And is this supposed to be a real lion? No. It's a painting of a lion. So it's the idea of a lion. Shapes, colors, textures with the idea of lion at the end. That's not a lion. I've never seen a lion with those colors. But it's very interesting to look at. And you have to keep going until you get rid of all the white on the blank, the clean white from the canvas, right? Keep going another stripe, another stripe, another stripe till you get to her jawline. Keep going, Celeste. You got to get closer and closer. 
right? It's the by, by white, you get all the way up to her jaw, right here, with the hair that goes behind it. So you have to do more, more, cut more hair, come forward with the hair. Uh huh. Keep going. Choose a new color. I don't know. Do you have any caramel left? We didn't use caramel very much. The caramel plus brown, or rusty color plus white, or uh, I don't know. Stare at your colors. What do you got? Red is also a fave color. Good job, you guys. Looks great.